In the last tutorial, we covered some of the theory regarding relationships within the FHJ and the different types of relationships we can have. So in this tutorial, I want to start looking at the practical side, how we can create relationships. In this instance, we're going to create relationships between two nodes. The first node is Jack, and he's a student. And the second node is James, he's also a student. We're going to be implementing what we covered in the last tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be covering creating a relationship between two existing nodes. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover how we can create relationships when we also create the nodes themselves. So how do we create a relationship between two nodes? Say, for example, between Jack and James. A unidirectional relationship, James is the friend of Jack. Well, first of all, we need to do a match on the nodes we're interested in and can use the match command. And then we need a node name. So the first guy is going to be Jack and the label is student. This all should be pretty familiar to you now. And then we're going to do a search on his name and then we can separate the nodes with a comma and do the second node, give him the initials JM for James. He's also a student name James and we know it's a node because we've wrapped it in parentheses. Let's just test that out just to make sure that works. Return James or Jack and James run that and we've got our two nodes. There's James there and there's Jack. Okay now what I want to do is actually insert a create command between the match and the return. Now just to make it more readable I'm going to have this over on multiple lines and you can do the same all you need to do is press the shift key and enter and then you can enter multiple lines within this editor here. And then much as we do with the nodes we just use the create command because at this time we want to create a relationship and then we ask ourselves what do we want to create a relationship between? Well it's between Jack and James and it's a unidirectional relationship. How do we describe James as a node? Well all nodes are described by the open and closed parentheses and then we use the node name which is JA which is short for Jack and then we use a minus sign open square bracket we separate it with a colon and the relationship type. Now the relationship type is friend. This isn't predefined anywhere. We're just setting up a string which is going to be used as the type. And it's convention to have it all in uppercase for a relationship. And then we have another minus sign followed by the arrow. And then we have the second node which is James. And that's the node name. So it's JM there. And that's it. We're creating a relationship of type friend between Jack and James and it's unidirectional in the direction of the arrow which is going towards James. Now much the same way we provide a node name for Jack and James which is JA for Jack and JM for James we can also provide for the relationship and I'm going to give it the name of R or lowercase r so we can return that also. And one final thing I want to include is a property of nickname. So what I'm saying here is that Jack has a nickname for James and it's Jimbo. So what this will do, it will create a relationship of type friend and nickname Jimbo. So in other words, Jack has a friend of James and he also has a nickname for that friend of Jimbo. So let's try that. So let's hit the execute button. And there we are, I've created our first relationship within Neo4j using Cypher. So we've got the student Jack and the student James and we have a relationship of type friend and a nickname Jimbo. We can also go to the grid view and we can see that here we've got the Jack node, James node and the relationship has the property of Jimbo. Now before we go any further I'd just like to re-emphasize the importance of this arrow or the direction. It basically is Cypher's way of telling us it's a unidirectional relationship and going from this node here which is Jack 
to this node here, which is James, as we saw in the theory tutorial. So what happens if we remove this arrow? As we'll see in later tutorials when we start doing matches on relationship, this actually means you can traverse the relationship in either direction. But when you're using the create statement, you need to specify the direction in which the relationship is being created. So if we run it here, well, there's no specification because we've left the arrow out. We get this error message. Only director relationships are supported in create. So it's important when we create a relationship that we all specify which direction the relationship is to be pointing in. I just wanted to reiterate that because it's a very important point. Another important point to bear in mind is to do with the type. Type is very similar to a label where it's separated by a colon. It's conventional to have it in uppercase, but the main thing is, is that you only have one type per relationship. Whereas in a node, you can have many labels attached to a node. In the next tutorial, I'm going to have a look at using the match statement and returning our relationship for Jack and James. <laughs>